Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today's gonna be different because we're talking about computer engineering and how data is stored and types of data. So let's get right into it. The first, this, the smallest value of data is a bit. Now, I don't have actual bits, but the, clo but the closest that I can get is three unsharpened pencils taped together. And so this would be about the size of one bit and eight bits. This gets you one byte. One, one byte is the equivalent of a single letter on a piece of paper. So a bit is a value. It's one value and it, it can be, it's, it stores two pieces of data either one or zero. So this would be one and this would be zero. And this is what we call binary. Now, if you take two bits and put them together, um, you can get zero. You can get one where there's a, where it's an off and an on, or you could get two where there's an on and an off, or you could get three, where there's an on and an on. Now, if we take another bit, you can get, you can get from three, you can go to four, five, and six. So what I'm demonstrating here is binary. So with the yellow side up is a zero and with the eraser side up you get a it's a one. Let's just take a nibble. Oh you don't know what a nibble is? A nibble is four bits. It's half a byte. So it can this can store up to 15 di 15 digits. This is an entire byte. One byte can store up to 128 value, 127 values. That's a lot of values. So I was able to figure out that if you use the font Times New Romans on 12 point size, you can get up to 37,000 characters, which is a lot of characters and even more bits. With 37,000 bytes you, and eight bits per byte, you get 22,900 bits. And if you take each bit and you lay, lay them flat, you reach 12,000 feet long, which is taller than the Eiffel Tower. That is crazy. But if you don't want to see just how tall it is, but its entire surface area, well, we got you there. So, with a single piece of paper holding 37,000 characters, and one character containing e each eight uh, by bits, this is how large, this is how many bits is in a single piece of paper. That's crazy. And to put in perspective, 19 pieces of printer paper would have a more square footage in bits than our entire house has. And the amount of square footage for those bits is 1,216. So hope you enjoyed and I thank you for watching and see you in a different video.